Hello Scorpio, this is Tanya from Sarva Yoga and I help you navigate your life. Today it's time for your February 2021 tarot reading. Go and have a look at my playlists because I have a yearly, monthly and a love and money tarot readings and they are each in their own playlist. If you want to subscribe to my channel, I am very thankful for that and I feel really flattered. Please don't forget to also click on that little bell symbol as it is apparently important uh, for um, YouTube. So uh, and you have the advantage to get a notification whenever I post a new video. Now, as usual, I'm going to go first into shuffling and then into your reading. And you can see in the timestamps below this video at what time the shuffling ends and when the reading starts, just in case you want to skip the shuffling. Thank you for being here. Angels and spirit guides, please help us guide our beautiful Scorpio people out there on their way through February 2021, please. Angel spirit guides and ancestors, please come here if you have any information for our beautiful Scorpios out there, which is important for them to know in February 2021, then please let us know here. Let's first start with their past, present and future, please. What's going on in the past of Scorpio? What's going on in the past for Scorpio, please? The information is highly appreciated here. Thank you. Oh, okay. These are a little bit too many. <laughs> Too many cards. I just need one for the past, one for the present, and one for the future, please. What's going on in the past? For Scorpio, please. What's going on in the past? Okay, thank you. For the past, we've got the King of Pentacles. This is amazing because this one was falling out before as well. And what do we have for the present for Scorpio? The present for Scorpio, please. Present for Scorpio. Okay, this one flipped, the hanged man. Mm -hmm. What do we have for the future? Future for Scorpio. Okay, eight of swords. <laughs> now, let's see what's going on to get a clarifier. Hoppala, here you blim. Angels and spirit guides, please guide our beautiful Scorpios here. Um, let us know what will clarify this King of Pentacles in the past here. Okay. Ha, another hanged man, a double hanged man. <laughs> oh my God. Now, what's going on in the present? Can we have a clarifier here? Clarifier. Clarifier for the present for Scorpio, please. Okay. Clarifier for the present for Scorpio, please. Thank you. Three of Pentacles, collaboration. And the Eight of Swords in the future. What can we do about this? Why is this here? Why is this here? What can we do about it? What can uh, Scorpio do about this Eight of Swords here? Anything for the future? Thank you. Five of Cups and Ten of Cups Reverse. Interesting. Okay. Angels and spirit guides, is there any advice, especially for the future here? How can Scorpio reach this beautiful Ten of Swords here? How can Scorpio reach this Ten of Swords here? How can Scorpio reach this Ten of Ten of uh, Ten of Pentacles here? Uh, ten of Cups, I mean. Seeing clearly, oh my God, this is the equivalent of the hanged man. You've got three times the hanged man here. 
this this is very very significant scorpio oh my god mm -hmm. changing the perspective yeah that's what it is changing the perspective now let's see if the angels have any answers here Angels, spirit guides, and ancestors, can you please give me the answer for Scorpio here for February 2021? As they have the hanged man three times, can you tell us what change in perspective does there have to be? Or is this about waiting? Is this about waiting or about changing perspective? What is this about here? These hanged man cards here. What's this about? Thank you. Ask your angels. <laughs> That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> okay, probably it's for each of you something else because otherwise this answer wouldn't have fallen out. Do we get any more tips for Scorpio for the future here? How can they reach these, uh, this beautiful Ten of Cups here? Is there anything else inside for Scorpio? How can they reach Ten of Cups? Thank you romance yeah cups are emotions so there is romance indicated <laughs> Scorpio, here is your February 2021 tarot reading. I have the feeling from seeing this that you are in a phase of limbo. So in life we go through four stages uh, and we go through these four stages again and again. These are limbo, start, middle, end. For example, you start a school, you're in the middle of high school and one day you end high school and then you go into limbo because you don't know maybe exactly if you're going to the university after that, if you're gonna have a job after that, what exactly you're gonna do. So the limbo phase is always the phase where everything is possible, but nothing's for sure. And I have the feeling that you are in a limbo phase in February, 2021. Why? Because you have three times, and that's amazing, three times the hanged man, yeah? And <laughs> I'm going to show you these three cards, okay? The, the hanged man has the number 12, yeah? The number 12 is shown here, here, can you see that? And also here. And it's, it's symbolized by someone who is upside down, yeah? The upside down dog. In this case, the card was falling the other way, but it's, it's three times the same card, the hanged man. So the hanged man can talk about... Um, not only being in the limbo, yeah, having times of uncertainty, but also about waiting. Maybe somebody makes you wait, or maybe you are in a position where you say, I'm just waiting, you know, I get an offer to do something, but I'm not sure if I should decide right now, I'm waiting, yeah. I better look how other people deal with this situation before I decide, yeah, you're waiting. And that's good, that's, that's planned the way by the universe, yeah? That you're waiting right now, that, that it's not sure yet where is gonna be your next job, what, what is your, gonna, your decision gonna be? It's, it's not sure yet. And that's good the way it is because the universe has a divine timing and God has a plan, yeah? So you're seeing clearly, says this card. And this card is signifying that it's time for you to look at things from another perspective or from different perspectives. Also, you have the talent to visualize fantastic possibilities, fantastic opportunities. Yeah? And not only you can visualize them, you can also bring them into reality because you have the three of pentacles. This is a card of collaboration and of building something new. These guys here, they're building a church. One of them responsible for painting the walls, another one responsible for the windows, another one responsible for the architecture and so on and so forth. So you are collaborating here with other people and you're building something which came from your vision. Your vision was, it doesn't have to be in this case, it's architectural. So it's in this case, it's a house. 
But in your case, it could be that you were imagining something, you know, imagining open up to open up like, a, let's say, a cat shelter. And you find the people that collaborate with you to open up that cat shelter. Yeah. So um, whatever it is that you're planning and visualizing here, yeah, you can bring it into reality with the help of other people. Yeah. You, you pull in the right um, professionals so that together you can bring into reality what you are visualizing here. So the reason why there is a, a, um, a period of waiting and a period of limbo in your life is because you have to visualize now. That's why God gives you a break. Okay, God says, okay, I, I put you on hold. I put you on a break so that you have the time to visualize and plan ahead. Yeah, this is very, very significant for you. Um, and it says, don't fear that this little stop in your momentum, because it's, it's a necessary time for you to plan and you have a uniqueness about you. Yeah. So no one else could plan this cat shelter house, whatever it is you plan. Nobody could do it better than you. Yeah. Only you can do that. So let others be helpful in your plan. Pull in, uh, call the right people. Yeah. Just call Call the persons you need in, to, to make this a reality. Yeah. Um, also, you've got uh, the money, obviously, because there is the king of pentacles here. So this is either you or another person around you that has the financial possibilities. Yeah? Somebody who can give you the necessary financial support to uh, bring that vision into reality. This is someone who is providing for others. This is a person who has more than enough money. Yeah, they have the money for themselves, but also they have the money to bring through their family. This is like a working parent, you know, somebody who brings the food to the table. And this is a good leader. Yeah, there is somebody around you who you can ask when you're in trouble. That's a good thing to have. Also, you can ask your angels because here we got the ask your angels card. So you can always, you know, whatever this is for you. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily have to be angels. It could be that you ask God while you pray. You can ask the universe, you can ask source, you can ask whatever it is that you believe in. Yeah, maybe you believe in uh, nature spirits, yeah, the spirit of plants. Yeah, go, then go into nature and ask them whatever it is that you that you see as an advisor in your life. Go and ask so that you get the right ideas and the right perspective. Then what I also see here is a little bit of a uh, trouble in romances. Yeah, maybe. In, in, because in the romance field, of course, it could mean that romance is coming into your life, but it fell together with cards that are a little bit troublesome. You have the Eight of Swords. This is a self-made prison, a self-made prison of the mind. You are overthinking something in, in the romance field. Yeah, You are maybe communicating too, too sharply with someone. Yeah, Don't put yourself into this prison of the mind. Yeah. Maybe you're thinking very much about, hmm, can I trust this person? Can I not trust this person? Because you have this five of cups here. Five of cups is being really sad, feeling betrayed, um, you, yeah, crying over spilled milk, being sad about what happened, being, being, you know, and this could sometimes be when we're hurt, we can sometimes um, not step into something new with lightness and optimism because we are thinking so much about the past and, and how horrible that was yeah so maybe that stops you from trusting that new romance that wants to come in your life and you have the ten of cups but in reverse yeah the ten of cups came out reverse so actually you want to have the possibility of this beautiful um fulfillment yeah this beautiful ending here a ten is always an, an an ending yeah and in this case it's a beautiful ending yeah it's, it's it means that you have all the relationships around you all the loved ones around you this is this is the happy family card yeah but here it came out in reverse, maybe because you, you've been hurt in the past or maybe even your family members hurt you. But it, I see it more in the, in the romance field because the angels were giving you the romance card and you're worried. Yeah, you're making yourself this prison of the mind. But worry is a misuse of imagination. Worry is a it's like torturing yourself for no reason. Because if there was some hurt in the past, if somebody hurt you, your family or your loved ones, um, you have learned from it, definitely. And as you 
as a, as a Scorpio, you have this wonderful ability to, to visualize, as this card said to you. So don't abuse it to visualize something bad. Don't abuse it to think about what's go, what can go wrong. Use it to think about what can go right and what can I do in order to, to reach this wonderful state of the Ten of Cups. So um, this is a little reminder to be... Um, yeah, not to not to use your past troubles or past mistakes as a reason or as an excuse to not daring to step into something new. I mean, the, of course, it's good to to be careful and to look at a partner also with the mind, not only with the heart, and and to see if if they are worth your time, worth your effort, worth your trust. That's that's perfectly fine. But sometimes we can inhibit ourselves um, by, by not trusting the situation because in the past we got hurt. Yeah? And the, these cards say, um, try to get out of your mind's prison. Yeah? This, when you worry, just tell yourself, no, that worrying doesn't bring me anywhere. Yeah? I'll, I'll better stop that thought right there and do something else. Yeah? And, and don't torture yourself because our past mistakes are, are not something we should torture ourselves with today. Yeah? If we continuously think about, oh my God, I did this wrong and I trusted the wrong person, da, 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 we can't get anywhere. And it doesn't change the past if we do that. Yeah? So better use your imagination here for the things which you want to build in the future here with other people. Put all of your effort, time and imagination into building the future, building a better life for everyone. Yeah? Maybe it's you that wants to be the caring person for, for the others. Maybe it's you who wants to provide. Now think about how can I build a house for them? Maybe you want to build a house. Yeah? Maybe you, you are taking your two hands and you put stone onto stone and, and you have a house in the end. Yeah? So think about that rather than going into the past and into your mistakes yeah that's not really bringing you any forward so yeah i think that's a great great tarot reading especially because you have the, the hanged man three times such things hardly ever happen yeah that you have three different decks and from all three different decks falls the hanged man the number 12 this this is really really important so if you want to, you can Google the angel number 12, what it has to say. Maybe you see any meaning in there. Okay, I think we're done. Now, Scorpio, I hope you liked the reading. If you did, then please let me know in the comments how exactly it resonated for you. I'm always curious to read that and I still answer every single comment. Don't forget, whatever the question in your life is, love is the answer. Let's stay calm throughout these times of insecurity and let's go through it peacefully and with awareness. Thank you again for being here. Thank you for subscribing and liking. I love you guys. Bye.